Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 2017 show of the Virtual Red Arrows. My name is Ben Arrowsmith, call sign Vortex, Red 10 and narrator for the 2017 season. We are pleased to fly for you here today at the Virtual Festival of Aerobatic Teams. The team has been training hard during the summer months to display our full routine for you today. The routine is based on the RAF Red Arrows 2016 routine which incorporates some of the hardest manoeuvres seen in aerobatics teams throughout the world. The Virtual Red Arrows was founded in 2005 and the team has previously performed 9 shift displays on various virtual air shows such as VFAT, VUAF and Virtual Air. This year we are back with some new pilots which you'll hear about later in the show. Our show is tailored as closely as possible to the RAF Red Arrows show routine in respect to their dedication and unrivaled skills. Now listen in as the pilots check in to start the show. You'll hear the engine spool up and the last checks performed before the Virtual Red Arrows take to the sky. So we've just completed our display takeoff and all aircraft have joined formation. We are now going to fly a short route of about 2 minutes while we reposition for the start of our display. On behalf of the team, the Reds, the pilots, our support personnel and engineers, we are really pleased to be here with you tonight and welcome you to our show. The aircraft we fly is the Hawk T1A built by BAE Systems and has been in service with many countries for over 30 years now. Anyone who has flown the Hawk will tell you it's a fantastic little airplane to fly. And here they come in wall. This formation measures 955 feet wide. Here they are, your virtual aerobatic team for 2017. It's the virtual Red Arrows! Marker. Pulls him into 
a short diamond formation, climbing to 6,000 feet, you see the jets collapsing to around 6 feet apart. Slowing down to about 150 miles an hour now as they reach 6,000 feet, apexing the loop and form our trademark diamond nine shape. At uh, the front of the formation is Red One, the squadron leader, Peter Hovlin. Peter has been with the VRA since 2008, joining as a right-wing pilot. He moved to the leader uh, position of the team in 2009. By trade, Peter is a 3D visualization designer and enjoys playing the guitar and video games. Holding the back. Now, watch that. Front right now, the smoke is on and the three aircraft on each wing drop to the middle of the formation now to form the shape of the space shuttle. The smoke will go off as they roll out onto your right hand side to fly the shuttle roll. Is coming towards us. This is where the pilots will see you, VFAT. Let's give the pilots a big wave as they go upside down at 2,500 feet. They're flying at 400 miles an hour in this fantastic space shuttle shape. Deck. The back. Now. At the front of the right hand wing of shuttle is Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Frank Bussing, callsign Viper. From Amsterdam, Frank works as an, as an aeronautical research engineer after previously working for NASA and is a big Formula 1 fan. Frank joined the VRA in 2014 and has previously been the team's narrator for 2015 and 16 seasons. This is his first year as a pilot with the team. Ah, uh, hold on. Go. Two. Three. High and left now, a shape has formed and was given its name back in the 1960s when NASA's Apollo program was in full swing. This formation represents the lunar landing craft on the Apollo missions and was put in the display this year to celebrate the achievements of Major Tim Peake and his journey aboard the International Space Station. So now, celebrating Major Tim and Britain's latest involvement in the space program, this is Apollo. There you hear Reds 2 and 3 acknowledge this next move and they do so with a very set cadence in their voices. The idea is the pilots continue counting in their heads using that cadence. On the count of 4 they extend their air brakes and on the count of 6 they retract their air brakes which means they drop back at the right rate to form this shape which depicts the Delta Wing plan form of the Royal Air Force's multi-role combat aircraft. It is the Eurofighter Typhoon. So coming in now from the left, this is Typhoon. Left of Typhoon sits Red 3, Flight Lieutenant Dale Phelps, call sign Delta. Delta joined the VRA in 2016 and this is his first year with the team. From Newport in South Wales, Delta works as a radio presenter, producer and DJ. And in his spare time, he loves to watch the Red Bull Air Races. Tornado, go. Two, three. High and right now, another shape is formed, ready for a brand new manoeuvre this year, which celebrates the Royal Air Force's fast jet workhorse. Since 1991, from the start of the first Cold War, the Tornado Bomber Force has been on continuous operations for 25 years. Out. Out. Celebrating the Tornado Bomber Force in from the right, this is Tornado. Front left 
with the, the seven arrow shape leading tornado is red five flight lieutenant daniel grove call sign slider slider is based in the uk and is a keen aviation photographer and hoarder of aviation memorabilia imprints slider joined the vra in 2014 and has previously flown red three for the 2015 and 16 seasons Bang. Front left now, you see another shape is formed, the three aircraft on each wing dropping to the very back of the formation. Normally when the pilots are on the wing of Red 1, they get a very good view of his jet from where they take their references. Each pilot looks at Red 1's aircraft alone and keeps the other jets in the corner of their eye. But in this shape, it's the other way round. Uh, in, this, in this shape even, the aircraft on the wing are around 120 feet back from Red 1's jet, but they still look him at, at him for their references. So now in a very difficult shape to fly, this is Swan. Going vertical now, another shape change is about to take place. Reds 2, 3, 4 and 5 move to the front of the formation. Reds 8 and 9 tucking at the back. No, nine. And as they slow down to 150 miles an hour at 6,000 feet, you can see they have formed the shape of Fed Arrow. As they start accelerating on the other side of the loop, the G is building up, the speed is building up. Now, Feathered Arrow is a bit of a mouthful to say over the radio, so we call this formation Fred. car designer student and in his spare time he enjoys racing, flying and drawing. Down. Amateur baby X. Go. Eight. Nine. The team are changing into the next formation. This shape is reminiscent of the 1960s Royal Naval fighter the de Havilland Sea Vixen. Red six and seven moving out to the left and right to show the twin boom tail of the Sea Vixen. We call this Big Vixen. of Big Vixen is Red 8, Flight Lieutenant Magnus Girislena, call sign Yamo. Born in Sweden, Magnus works as a game developer, creating games for consoles as well as PCs. He joined the VRA back in 2011 and has extensive experience as a right wing pilot flying Red 4 from 2011 to 2016. This is his first year flying on Jippo as Red 8. Well, that's the end of the first part of the Virtual Red Arrows display, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. We are now setting up for the second part of our display. Hammer. Front left, the Reds are shedding up a shape known as Hammer. At the front of Hammer are Reds 1 to 5, and they're known as Enid after Enid Blyton's famous 5. And at the back are Reds 6, 7, 8 and 9, and they're known as Jippo. Jippo is the nickname of the gentleman who first led the back four back in 1968 when the Red Arrow started flying nine ship displays. So over to the left, the smoke is on, Enid at the front, Jippo at the back. Uh, my leg. Oh. There's Red 1 calling and pulling up as they squeeze the 4G at 400 miles an hour. 
Rudder key. Right. Now. Red one is now twisting this loop towards us through 90 degrees in what's known as a quarter clover, and you can see why we call this shape hammer. Red screens at the ready as we start the second half of our display. Now. This is the Hammerhead Break. Keep your eyes on the aircraft closest to us now. On the left is Red 6 and on the right is Red 7. Together they make up the Synchro Pair. They're currently flying at a thousand feet. With their smoke on, full power turning back towards us now. They start descending to just 100 feet above the ground. Their closing speed is coming up to 770 miles an hour. Get your print screens ready now. These are the Opposition Barrel Worlds. Fresh on. Fresh on. Red 6. They keep their smoke on now, full power turning away from us at 6G or 6 times the force of gravity. Everything in these pilots' bodies now weighs 6 times more than they usually do, including their blood which wants to pull in their feet. So their G-suits are now inflated, they're tightening their leg muscles, fighting the G-force as they fly the Cyclone. Lifting up on the left now with some smoke on his red six, Flight Lieutenant David Hahn, who is the leader of the Synchro Pair. David joined the Virtual Red Arrows in 2010 and has previously flown Red 3 and Red 7. David loves playing music on his guitar and piano whilst eating a slice of pizza. Yes, that's him high on the left. About to be chased down underneath by Red 7, who's at full power cutting in the corner, trying to get into line astern. Looking right as he needs red 8 and 9, coming down to form an inverted V-shape. This is the Goose. Listening to red 1 as he calls the reds into a right turn. Reds 8 and 9 there, drawing a fabulous colour stripe in the sky as they move over to our front left. Look now look over to the right to find the Synchro Pair. Synchro Pair. Synchro. Smoke on. Go. The smoke comes on for Synchro. Keep your eyes on the two jets to the right as they fly the shotgun. Coming in. Synchro Rock. Go. Red 6 there giving the command in shotgun for him and Red 7 to roll inverted and upright at different stages. Keep your eyes down to the left now. Here come Enid with Red 8 with some red, white, and blue smoke. Eyes left for the revolution. There in the revolution, flying an aileron roll at full left hand control column input, which rolls the aircraft rapidly. 
Look now, straight ahead, flying towards us are the Synchro Pair. Pulling in up at 500 miles an hour and 5G. Reaching 7,000 feet, this is the Virtual Red Arrow's famous heart. Keep your eyes to the top right for Red 9 as he draws a spear through the heart. We would like to dedicate this heart to all of you watching today. Here come the Synchro Pair with their next manoeuvre, which this year we've changed the name in honour of an aviation legend. Captain Eric Winkle Brown was a Royal Naval Test Pilot and fighter pilot in the Second World War. He was known as Winkle on account of him being a short chap. He died in February 2016 and left behind a world record of 487 different types of aircraft flown. So here are the Synchro Pair with the Winkle Rolls. To the right, here coming in pointing towards us on a 45 degree line with their smoke on. Oh, Reds 1, 2, 3 and 5 form a box formation and there he goes. Red 4 is going to roll around them a dozen times. This is the Twister. Coming. Right. Down. Getting very dizzy with the blue smoke on is Red 4. Flight Lieutenant Sean Evans, call sign Shaggy. Shaggy joined a team in 2015 and has previously flown Red 2. Based in Sweden, Shaggy works as a photographer and has a wife and two kids and owns six horses, one dog, two sheep and two cats. We now get ready to look to the left hand side to find a four aircraft of Jibbo. On comes Jippo Smoke, they're about to roll out down the line at 380 miles an hour. Here you'll see the Reds 6 and 7 rolling upside down in close formation Red with Reds 8 and 9 matching them directly underneath. This is Mirror. into a double line astern to our right hand side. Now look left to find the five headlights of Enid. The inside pilots pitch to the outside as they fly the rollbacks. Finish their brilliant synchronized rollbacks to the right. Keep your eyes in that direction. Here come Jippo. Jippo, my gun, go. On comes the smoke to the right. Six, rolling in. Once again, synchro roll inverted. This is the corkscrew. Eight, nine, roll, go.
through finishing now to the left as Jeppo roll out into a four ship escort. Jeppo, Mokoff. Lurking right now, let's try and find Enid. Enid Rolex out now. Line of stone, go, said Red 1. The smoke comes on as they drop down to be stacked now. Red top to bottom, Reds 1 to 5. Bravo, coming right now. Coming right, the pilots use a lot of rudder to swing the jets out like a pendulum in line of stern. Now, tie back. formations with the odd numbered pilots flying on the left and even on the right but in this shape it's the other way round. Reds 2 and 4 are on the left, 3 and 5 on the right. They feel uncomfortable on the wrong side so they want to go back to their normal positions and they do it like this. Two. This is Slalom. Pulling 4G in his turn, the Jets are back on their normal sides. They finish this manoeuvre in battle. Now looking straight ahead, rolling out towards us are Jippo. Jippo smoke comes on now as they point towards us. And then I roll up. There goes red eight and nine as they roll around the synchro pair. Print screens at the ready. This is the Jippo break. Side is Red 7, Flight Lieutenant Ivan Marinov, call sign Crash. Born in Bulgaria, Ivan works as a game developer. He joined the Virtual Red Arrows in 2009 and has experience from Red 2, Red 6 and Red 8 positions. Looking right with the smoke on is Red 6, chased down by Red 9. These four jets will descend down to just 100 feet. Their closing speed is coming up to 820 miles an hour. This is the amazing Chippo Pass. Once again, look right at Enid. On time, smoke on, go. And they're in a shape called Leader's Benefits and are going to draw a red, white and blue snake-like shape of smoke in the sky now as they fly the python. Five minutes of white and one minute each of red and blue in each of the aircraft. Oh, so that's Python finishing front left. The synchro pair now get ready for their final manoeuvre. 
This time Red 6 comes from the left and Red 7 from the right. Here they come with their smoke on, closing at 800 miles an hour. They're going to cross three times in opposing 360 degrees, 6G turns. Get ready, this is the carousel. Pilots working hard, pulling six Gs in this manoeuvre. They're going to cross three times. As they come round the front, pulling six Gs, please put your hands together for the synchro pair. Smoke of Enid, who are once again joined by Red 8 and 9 for the display's finale. This is the Vixen Break. Red. Break. Break. Go. You've been watching the virtual aerobatic team, the virtual Red Arrows. Now rolls out on a 90 degree heading, putting on some smoke so that the other aircraft can get visual as quickly as possible and gather up in the nine ship formation. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's Virtual Red Arrows display. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, uh, whilst the Reds are now rejoining for our final manoeuvre. If you'd like to find out more about the Virtual Red Arrows, please visit our website at www.virtualredarrows.com for screenshots, information about our team, specs on our Hawk, and more details. And ladies and gentlemen, for the last time this evening, here are the Reds as they fly Big Nine and come in for the landing break. Flat left hand break. Two. Red spark on that. Thanks out to our sponsor, Thrust.